Welcome to Crema Media's Polity, I'm Brad Doubleman. I'm in Melrose Arch to meet with former Director General in the Presidency, Reverend Frank Chikane, to discuss his new book titled Eight Days in September, The Removal of Thabo Mbeki. Welcome, Reverend Chikane. Reverend, your book talks about the removal of Thabo Mbeki by the ANC. What motivated you to write this book? Well, I decided to write the book before I left government. Actually, I planned to leave government way before Polokwane and way before Menbeki was removed. I was actually on a contract that would end in October that very year when Mbeki was removed. So I decided to write. I, I just feel we need to write our story. You know, people come and interview you and write the story. And I feel I was in the center of things. I was in the thick of things. I managed the transition processes from the resignation of Mbeki up to the swearing in of the next president, Mutlante. And there was no other better person to write about this matter than myself. You equate Mbeki's removal as tantamount to a coup. Please explain. Yeah, the, you see, I think this is the part of the book that has been understood, misunderstood and it is hit in the headlines. The point I am making, my book is about learning. My book is to get people who are leaders to rethink about the way they deal with issues. My book is about public servants who need to think carefully about what happens. The point I'm making in the book is that it is okay for a party to recall its member, but its member has to voluntarily resign because there's no constitutional provision for the member to, to leave office because the party has said so. You would have to go to parliament and follow constitutional processes to actually deal with that. But I'm saying that there's nothing wrong. The president decided he was going to resign, so he didn't resist. I'm saying that once you come to the point where somebody says, deliver the letter at seven o'clock on Sunday, that borders on the definition of a coup. So that's really what I'm saying, so that people can learn from it. Fortunately, the president complied and delivered the letter. He didn't think it mattered much because he didn't want to stay any day longer than his party wanted him to be there. That's the point I am explaining. So I'm saying when we deal with a crisis situation, we need to be careful how we manage it because the president was planning to deliver the letter in parliament after having checked with lawyers and with parliamentary lawyers and agree on the best way in which you can do it so that there's no instability in the country. How do you think the Zuma government and the ANC will react to this book? Well, I, I, you know that question is a problem for me because we have had discussions with the leadership of the movement. Uh, in November, I refer to it in the book, in November 2010, I held a meeting with the, offi the officials of the organization. We discussed the, what they called Chikani files then, the articles, and, and we agreed at the end, after two hours discussion, that in fact members of the ANC have got the right, the right to write about their experiences and participate in debates uh, in the country. And so I don't expect that there would be a problem with it. Yeah. In your opinion, how do you think Thabo Mbeki's legacy is affecting the current political landscape? Well, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that, really. I mean, he has got a particular legacy. Uh, the party removed him, and as I say in the book, at the point when we're in government, government was performing at its best comparatively, because these are comparative things. Um, uh, on the continent, the African Renaissance program was at its height. Internationally, we had gained access even to the G8 and were beginning to impact on the thinking of the G8. So in a sense, at the point when he was released, that's where we were. But it was clearly a party political matter. And I'm hoping that the book will assist us to think about how do we actually manage the party and how do we make sure that there is stability, how do we make sure that we manage government properly. Do you think the timing of this book will affect current political events? 
Well, I, 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 I don't know. It wasn't meant to do that. I think the people tend to tie it up to Mangaung and the elections, etc. That's not what this book is about. The book is part of a historical moment, and we learn from history. And this is the 2012 centenary celebration of the ANC. I think the book should be a valuable part of the debate and discussions to review the last 100 years and say, what are we going to do in the next 100 years? Um, and, and it should affect the party insofar as it should get people to think. But it, is, it has nothing to do with influencing things about elections. That's not about elections, it's about the way we think, the way we look at life, and the way in which we look at politics, with the way in which we look at the country. Thank you, Reverend.